Use imperative handle allows us to access methods from within a function component. Um, so here we've got our example. It's just outputting or rendering this counter component. It's got a button. When I click on it, it updates its count. If we take a look at the counter, it's got this state of count uh, initialized with zero. It's got this increment method, which updates that count by one. And then that uh, is attached to our on click event of the button. Pretty straightforward stuff. So what I want to do is I want to add another button here. And on the click of it, I want to update the uh, count in our counter component. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to bring in use ref. We're going to create a ref. We'll just call it ref equals use ref. And we're going to assign that or pass that into our counter component. Now you might think at this point we could access ref.current.increment, uh, but it doesn't work that way because this is a function component. We don't have any way of accessing that yet. So this is just the first step here. Now inside of our counter component, we're going to bring in forward ref and then we'll wrap our component in forward ref. So we'll plug that in there, wrap it up down here. The first argument into forward ref is props, and then the next one is ref. Cool, so we've got that. Now what we need is our use imperative handle hook. So we'll set this up right here. I'm gonna say use imperative handle. We're gonna pass in the ref, and then we're gonna have this callback function uh, and we can do whatever we want here. I'm going to be returning an object with the increment method inside of it. So now we'll come back over here to our new button and we'll go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to say ref dot current dot increment. So clean this up a bit. All right, so let's save that and try it out. So we click on our button, everything works, and we click here and we're able to access that method. So what's kind of cool about this is you can uh, use this hook to create an API for your component and even like a specialized API that's only meant for the parent to access. Uh, so let's create another method here uh, that uh, our component isn't going to use, but we'll just uh, uh, allow our parent to access it. So I'm gonna say yell and we'll just alert count. Save that. We'll jump over here and we'll access yell. We'll tweak this text. What is the count? So now click this a few times. It updates the uh, count. And if we click on what is the count, it's a little bit small, but uh, we get our component announcing or alerting the uh, current count.